Hi, I'm John Bullington. I'm a top contributor with the Google Classroom Forum, and I'm going to take you through how to add an assignment to Google Classroom. So the assignment I'm going to do is for the American Revolution and the Battle of Trenton. And if you look over my shoulder there, there's New Jersey and Trenton's not far from there. So here we go. How to add an assignment to Google Classroom. So once you've set up your classroom, you're going to come to the Classwork tab here. You'll see a big Create button. It's very similar to the one that's in Google Drive. You're going to click Create and then Assignment. So when you're creating an assignment, if you haven't previously set up topics, you can do it as you create the assignment. You could also, however, pre-create the topics right here. So creating a topic is like making a unit or a chapter in your curriculum where you're going to put together a bunch of resources and assignments for the students. So I'm going to call this one American Revolution. I'm going to add it. And you'll see it put the placeholder in here. If I were to create a second topic, just so you can see the difference, and I'll call this one the Civil War. It automatically goes at the bottom of my list. However, you can quickly reorder topics by using the three dots and choosing move up or move down. So now I've got a topic for the revolution. I'm going to create my first assignment in there. So I'm going to call this assignment the Battle of Trenton, as we already talked about. New Jersey's right there over behind my shoulder. Um, and then I'm going to choose the topic for American Revolution. Now this is going to be for a movie that the students are going to make. So I'm going to say collect your images and source citations for your storyboard video. spelling there. Collect. All right, so now I want to attach something from my Google Drive for the students to work on to collect this information in a manner that I can look at it. So I'm going to come in there and I'm going to choose this recent document that I created called Storyboard, or I could click on Drive and search through my Drive. So I click Storyboard, I click Add, and now I have three options. Students can view means it's only a resource for them to look at. Students can edit file, this becomes a now a collaborative project. All of the students this assignment is assigned to would be able to contribute to this storyboard. And so you could, if you wanted to work in groups, unselect all students and only take the four students you want to assign this to for that being their group storyboard. You would then have to repost the same assignment to different groups of students to give them each their own collaborative file. So if you want them to work as groups, that's one way to accomplish it. If this is an individual project, instead of students, plural, can edit file singular, you'll choose make a copy for each student. And then every student in the class will get their own individualized copy of this that they can change and turn into you. Um, you can also assign this to multiple classes if your classroom has more than one classroom created. This particular one only has the American history. So now when I drop it into the classroom by clicking assign, it will appear in this classwork page for your students. You can um, rearrange the topics. You can also rearrange the order of the assignments in here. You can pick a due date for them when you're assigning it. Once they've started turning it in, you'll see the done and not done counters go up and you can click on done to see the done student work, not done to see the ones who still haven't turned it in. Or you can click on view assignment to see the whole assignment page. And what you'll get here is a Every student's uh, assignment, you'll see who's done and not done it, and you can click on any one of them to go in and look at and grade that assignment. The grading tab is up here. You can change the total value of the assignment. It'll prompt you and say, you're sure you want to change that from 100 down to 20? Yep. And now, once Mike turns it in, I can give him his grade here. Okay. So that's how you give an assignment. If you want to go back to your class page, click that. So that was under classwork. What the students see under the stream tab, it's just a notification that a new assignment has been added. They'll still have to go to their classwork tab, but all assignments and announcements will appear here very shortly um, and very uh, briefly, I should say, not shortly. Uh, and then for you, all of that is on the classwork page.